All right, guys, welcome into the video. Today we got a special video. Today is episode one of Life at the Olympics, bringing you guys kind of an inside look into the travel day and gonna explain to you guys some of the COVID protocols we had to go through slash going through this week at the Olympics, show you guys some of the plane ride, some of the check-in. Um, I didn't get a lot of footage. It was hard because we were carrying, I was carrying two bags, a backpack, all of my paperwork for COVID test for PVC card, which is our accreditation and the tripod or the gimbal. So it was extremely hard to get footage, but trying to get you guys as much as I could. Um, but I am going to explain to you guys a lot more of the detail of, of the exact process from the time we hit wheels down in Tokyo to the time I got to my, uh, I guess, room here at the village. But hey, uh, if you guys do uh, enjoy this kind of stuff, let me know down below things you guys wanna see more of. Uh, I got a few things planned, like uh, a true behind the scenes tour, gonna walk you guys from my room to different parts of the village, give you guys a, a little more of a behind the scenes tour, give you guys an unpacking of some of the USOC Ralph Lauren gear we've got, some other gifts we received when we arrived here in the village, uh, give you guys a look into my workout tomorrow and the high performance center that, that Team USA trains at while we're here in Tokyo. And then hopefully I'll get over to the, the competition track prior to me competing and maybe get you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes there. So some of the things I just have on tap here, gonna do some Q and A's, some talking, uh, a bunch of stuff gonna give you guys a, a bunch of stuff here over on YouTube So if you are enjoying this make sure to hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up Leave a comment below things you guys want to see more of and I do enjoy all the support so far this channel has, has blown up Let me give you guys a little bit of an insight into what is exactly here in our seat in first class.
Ah, oh, man, it is hot. Konnichiwa. Yes, sir. In here. Oh, oh man, it is hot. All right, guys. So welcome into my little confessional room. Uh, I'll give you guys the full room tour in, in another video when I do the full village tour or the unpacking, I guess you'll see it there too. Uh, but this is gonna be my little uh, humble abode, my confessional room, so you guys will hear a lot of me or see a lot of me sitting here. I might do some stuff elsewhere in the village, but this is the easiest place to sit down, put up the tripod and record and get kind of a good thing. Lighting's not that great. But we're gonna roll with it. So I want to kind of walk you guys through kind of what the COVID procedure was yesterday. Um, there was a lot of talk going into us landing that it was gonna take six, eight or more hours to get from the time your wheels touch down on the plane to the time you get to the Olympic Village. Um, ours was about four hours. We landed about four and I got to my room about 8 p.m. Um, give or take 30 minutes each way. Um, but yeah, roughly four hours. I landed in Haneda, which is the more of the downtown airport compared to Rita, which is much farther from the village and much bigger, um, where their processing was much, much slower. Um, mainly was much, much slower. There's a couple groups that were pretty quick, but a lot of people were really slow there. So what they did is they took the Japanese citizens off first, and then they brought off all the people who have Olympic credentials or are there for the Olympic Games. They brought us off next. And then the entire airport was split with citizens or Japanese people, uh, people visiting Japan. Um, and then Olympic people. So everywhere we split off. So we had to do, we had an accreditation through an app where we put in all of our negative tests. Um, I took three negative tests, 96 hours for out from the flight, 72 hours and 48 hours from the flight. Um, I did a third test because I was in the United Kingdom. Um, I had to do a third test. Most people just did the two tests. Um, so they were checking for your negative results from your 72 hour test. You had a quarantine registration app. They were checking for that QR code. There was another registration where you had to sign a pledge, et cetera. And then they were looking for immigration papers along with your passport and then your PVC or your accreditation, which they give you as a paper form. And then they laminate it at the airport. So they're checking for all that. So we were kind of lugging through obviously all of our luggage. Uh, it was super hot. All of us obviously had jackets on from the flight. And then they wanted us to, and, and I wanted to try to videotape. So it was just, there's a lot of no photography zone. So I just kind of put the camera away, got through that processing. Um, so fortunately I don't have any footage of it, but it really wasn't anything special kind of station to station, checking all this information, um, registering you, you had to do a saliva spit test, um, nothing crazy special. Then they took you all to this holding room um, where we kind of hung out. I'll probably throw up that clip now of the holding room if I can find it. Uh, it's just a big kind of meeting hall. They were playing the Olymp some of the Olympic uh, sports. I think judo was on while we were there. We had snacks. We kind of hung out until everybody was, results came back, which we all came back negative, obviously. Uh, and then we were shuttled from there to the village. Uh, you go through the accreditation check-in at the village, uh, at the main entrance, and then you get on another shuttle uh, where they bring you in your bags to the USA uh, apartment building or whatever you call it, um, which is uh, that. So I'll show you guys in the next video, or one of the videos coming up, a huge tour of the village. It is ginormous. Uh, this morning I did six miles around the village, obviously did a couple loops, um, but there was like a 1200 meter block. Then there was a huge stretch and back. Uh, so about six, six miles and I really didn't run a lot of the same thing, um, which was really nice in this big village compared to Rio is a much smaller village. So training in the village was, was much harder because we had about a thousand meter loop. Um, it was pretty crowded all the time. This is big open roads, a greenway, sidewalks. There is a lot more room here to train, which is nice. COVID procedures that I know of right now, when it comes down to it, we have a spit test every morning. We drop that off to uh the usopc staff and then they drop it off for us to the games and then it is tested at the end of the day obviously and then you could if you i'm sure if you're negative you probably don't get the results back but then you do it, everything over again in the morning i'd never done spit tests before i'd only done it uh with the swab or the saliva so to spit uh it's kind of weird um but then you got to do a certain amount um i don't it's all over there uh, and then i'm sure there's more testing potentially at whatever i don't know um we train at a high performance center strictly for team usa uh so there's no crossing with us when we train with other countries there's no practice track for us we train at our own high performance center while we're here which we're extremely lucky to have that uh and other than that it's just kind of um a very limited games um you'll see in the tour village we sit with like glass plexiglass dividing us at the at the hall um there's a lot of cool things though with like capacity that they show us uh, free Coca-Cola and Powerade and 
water and stuff like that down there. USOC and, and USATF have their lounges. USATF Medical is here. Uh, so all that stuff is really handy. Um, but I hope you guys did kind of enjoy this quick little uh, travel day video. Um, episode one here of of the Life at the Olympics. Episode two and three will be a tour, uh, a tour, a workout, or the unpacking. Not sure what order they're going to release. I'll probably shoot the unpacking video today since I don't have a lot of time. I have a lot to organize in my room. I have stuff everywhere. Um, I'm going to rearrange my bed. I'm going to get a little more comfortable tonight, today. And then I have a workout tomorrow, which would be Tuesday, um, the 27th. I have a workout. Today is Monday. Uh, today I've already run this morning. Workout tomorrow at the High Performance Center. Wednesday's an easy day. So maybe I'll do the tour on Wednesday. I'll do a full, really in-depth tour for you guys. I'll do, the, I'll do a workout video, show you guys the High Performance Center, kind of behind the scenes of where we train at on Tuesday. Uh, and then Thursday, Friday is obviously getting ready to compete for Saturday. So I'm super excited this week. Body is feeling really good from the flight. I, I flew first in business class over, so was able to lay down with the legs stretched out. I'm um, extremely lucky to have that. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Hoping you guys enjoy the behind the scenes. If you haven't already, head on over to TikTok. I'm going to try to th so throw some things up there. I believe it's cmurphy800 on TikTok. Instagram, Clayton Murphy. I have some behind the scenes stories and posts there. Uh, connect with you guys on Instagram, Twitter, Clayton underscore Murph. I, I don't throw a lot of new stuff on Twitter. Uh, mainly just the same stuff I throw on those two platforms. And then obviously on YouTube, I appreciate you guys all the support. We blew past 7,000. Uh, we're on our way to 8K and I really appreciate all subscribers. Uh, all the new ones who have came in since the gear haul video. I uh, appreciate you guys. That was Team USATF gear. Now I've got USOPC gear, Ralph Lauren gear, Samsung, a watch. I just ordered a ring. We'll go through all that in the next video. Uh, I appreciate you guys. As always, make today something special. And always remember family over everything. And I will see you guys in episode two of Life at the Olympics. Appreciate you guys. See you guys next time.